Hello, I'm Dr. Frances Pitsilis. Many people need magnesium and don't know it. Do you think you might need magnesium? I call it mighty magnesium because it's important for over 600 reactions in the body. Do you know someone who doesn't sleep, gets leg cramps, ringing in the ears, twitching eye, tired, headache, asthma, blood pressure, palpitations, lots of conditions? Well, your friend might need magnesium. Magnesium is best taken in the diet. It's found in legumes, whole grain cereals, cocoa, chocolate, nuts, dark leafy greens and soy foods. However, not everyone has an ideal diet and most everyone these days is busy and stressed. So you can lose magnesium through being stressed physically or mentally. That means that you can be a bit burnt out, um, a bit psychologically stressed, but also physically working a lot or doing a lot of exercise and actually athletes lose a lot of magnesium. But in addition, if your gut is not good, if it's inflamed, you won't absorb it properly. And also drugs deplete magnesium in your body. And these drugs can include proton pump inhibitors that are used for stomach ulcers and acid reflux, uh, tetracycline antibiotics, steroids and diuretics. So magnesium works all over your body. It has many, many and numerous effects, starting from the head downwards. It's an anti-inflammatory in the brain and can help after traumatic brain injury. It helps with anxiety and a little bit with depression. It helps you sleep. It helps control your bladder during the night so that you can sleep through. It uh, gives energy to your heart and prevents palpitations. It lowers your blood pressure. It helps people with floppy mitral valve from getting abnormal heart rhythms. It reduces atherosclerosis. And in the heart area and blood pressure area, it works like a calcium channel antagonist or a blocker. When it comes to the lungs, it dilates the airways and helps asthma and it helps lung function. It relaxes the bowel and the bladder, as already mentioned. 50 to 60% of it is stored in the bones, so it's a bone builder. And what's important about magnesium is if someone's uh, inadequately supported in terms of their magnesium, it may affect and drain their bones. It's been used for leg cramps, restless legs, premenstrual syndrome and even constipation. When it comes to migraine, it's considered a second line drug in mainstream medicine. So if you think that you need magnesium, the best ones that are best absorbed for most of the areas we've mentioned include magnesium citrate, magnesium diglycinate, and magnesium um, amino acid chelate. The dose is 300 to 400 milligrams with more of it at night, but many people need a, a lot more. If you want magnesium for constipation, make sure that the supplement you use has some of it as oxide or oxalate because that is not as well absorbed so it will help your bowel. So as you can see, there is so, so much to magnesium. I think virtually everyone needs to consider whether they might need some magnesium and go check it out.